How is it going everybody? Welcome to Gaming Instinct's 20 Pro Tips about Dying Light 2. Let's jump right in. Number 1. Make sure to use your survival senses ability anytime you enter a new area or a building you have never been to before. It's the best way to find both regular and important loot the fastest way possible. Number 2. Check underwater as well. Sometimes you might find loot that you did not expect. Number 3. When in combat, pay attention to your stamina, especially early on in the game when you do not have a lot of it. It can and will deplete quickly if you just keep spamming the attack button. You will get tired and your attacks will turn into just shoving your enemies with your bare hands. And that is not good, especially when you're surrounded by a crowd of angry biters. Number 4. When free running and parkouring on the rooftops or high heights, make sure to look for X marks down below. The X marks are a safe spot to land on from high jumps and will not hurt Aiden's health. Number 5. After you have killed a ton of virals or humanoid NPCs, make sure to loot every possible corpse. Money is important in Dying Light 2 and so are the crafting materials such as the trophies that you get from the virals. It may not seem like a lot of materials but loot every time and soon it'll add up pretty quickly. Number 6. Make sure to collect and find as many inhibitors as possible. Inhibitors can increase your health, stamina, and immunity. As you get further into the game, it is important that Aiden is a lot stronger than at the start of the game. Sometimes, you can also hear an AI voice saying GRE container nearby, and these usually contain inhibitors, so always be on the lookout. Number 7. In Dying Light 2, you can perform stealth kills by getting behind an unalerted enemy and performing a takedown. This is a good tactic to soften up a horde and deal with less enemies if you're planning on taking out the entire room and save some weapon durability. Number 8. Biters who are asleep can easily be avoided by crouching and walking around them. Do not get too close or they will be alerted even if you're barely making any noise. Number 9. When fighting a bunch of thugs, get on top of a vehicle or any other object and start abusing the AI. They will attempt to chase you and climb up whatever obstacle you are on. While they are stuck in the climbing animation, just simply hit them. Rinse and repeat until all your foes are dead. The AI is not the smartest here and can easily be manipulated. Number 10. During combat, you can not only use the block button which is L1, but also R1 to dodge either side or even backwards. Use this dodge tactic to your advantage and dance around the enemy's attacks and then feel free to whack them in the face with a nice, sharp, and gentle object. Number 11. Always carry lockpicks with you. There are plenty of doors to open that are locked in loot chests as well. The difficulty of lockpicking can vary from easy, medium, to hard. But in all honesty, they are kind of the same and are really easy to unlock once you get the hang of it. Number 12. You can use pipes to slide down to safety from high rooftops if there's nothing safe to land on. Number 13. Make sure to sell all your valuable items whenever you are near a trader or after you've done a couple of quests and looted a bunch of places. This is the best and fastest way to make money. You can also sell all your valuable junk by pressing and holding the Y button instead of selling each item one by one. Number 14. You can use environmental objects such as spikes on the barrels and kick biters into them by holding L1 and pressing R2. If the biters touch the spikes, they will instantly go from full HP to zero and die. Number 15. If you do not like roaming around at night, you can head to the closest safe house and use the bed to sleep until the morning. If you prefer a night chase and like living dangerously, you can sleep again to go into night. Number 16. Sometimes, you may come across a group of biters along with one big brawler. You can get close enough to him to bait an attack that will accidentally hit the other biters instead of you, if you are fast enough to dodge out of the way using R1. Use this tactic throughout the game to help you in combat situations such as these and save the durability of your precious weapons. Number 17. Military convoys are usually stacked with numerous propane tanks. In Dying Light 2, you can pick up a propane tank, ignite it by pressing X and then wait a few seconds and throw it right as it explodes either at a single enemy, groups of biters, or big mutated dudes and enjoy the show. Number 18. During combat, look around your surroundings to spot a spear or two. The spear is one use weapon that can be thrown quite far and if it lands on an enemy, they will be one shot. Use this tactic to your advantage when it's either surrounded by enemies or you need to finish off a straggler at a distance. Number 19. Make sure you are always stacked with arrows. You can either find them off enemies or buy them at a trader. Bows are excellent weapons for mid and long range combat, especially against mini boss targets such as shown here. Keeping your distance from them is much safer than trying to hit and run them until their demise. And finally, number 20. In the second region of Dying Light 2, when you get further into the story, you'll come across completely different structures of buildings compared to the first area. Be on the lookout for lifts that will take you into the sky high up the building. You can then climb on top of the hook of the lift, and if you're specced into wall running already in your parkour tree, you can pull off some crazy convenient tricks to get into areas that normally would be a lot harder. And this has been 20 pro tips about Dying Light 2, stay human. To see more guides and videos like this in the future, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, this has been Sam Lee, and until next time.